Ladies and gentlemen, I got something a little, a little special for the second unboxing. Hi, Boring Gates people. Hi, Boring Gates. Oh, what can I say about this magnificent game? This timeless classic. This, this, uh, I don't know what the fuck this game is. But I do know what flesh and blood is. Flesh and blood is a new craze that seems to be sweeping the trading, the TCG community. Uh, for those who don't know what flesh and blood is, it is a card game out of New Zealand made by, I want to say, Legend Story Studios. Whose uh, secondary market is absolutely skyrocketing right now. This is first edition, but the first box to come out, uh, Welcome to Wrath or Wraith or however you want to pronounce that shit. Their alpha box, I'm seeing them on eBay for like twelve hundred dollars, and I'm you know. I'm, Arcane Rising, I mean, that's, I've seen, uh, I think the lowest I've seen is $500. Uh, this box I've had for a while. Um, I meant to open it a long time ago. I took the seal off and everything, and then, I don't know, something, something, something happened. Well, I think it'd be fun with the, uh, with Unlimited coming out. I think, I thought it would be fun to crack some packs of this and see what we get now I played I got all the yeah all the uh, starter decks that were out for the series uh, the all the welcome to wrath wraith ones uh, primarily just been using those to get a feel for the game the game's different uh, this is my playmat uh, one of the playmats that I got I have another one that shows you more. There's, like, this is where your hero goes. Weapon, uh, armor, and stuff on this side. I'm not going to get too into the depths of how to play right now. But, I've been really eyeing opening some of these. So let's just get to it. Let's get to it, everybody. I'm very excited, because... With the prices so high on eBay for first edition and alpha boxes, uh, I'd like to think that's a good sign for the game doing well. I'm not sure. I do have a minor fear in there. All right, what do we got? Uh, Crucible of Etherwave. Oh. oh. Okay. This is good. I've never opened a pack before. Like I said, I've just been doing the starter decks. I know. So what... The first editions have that the um, uh, limited sets when they come out have, uh, will not have are uh, these things called cold foils. Basically, it's like these this special foiling process that the company's gone through. Uh, I didn't really look at these. So as you can see, they uh, right here says generic action uh generic action attack so ranger see ranger action that is a uh class ranger defense reaction so a lot of these wizard action robe wizard equipment so there's essentially classes that i know this so uh I kind of want to divide these up by class, but I think just for time, I'm just going to set them off to the side and do it later. So what Arcane Rising added, it, was a, it added four classes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it added uh, Mechalogist, Ranger, Runeblade, and Wizard, where uh, Welcome to Ray, they had Ninja, uh, and I'm completely blanking out what the other ones are. But basically, it's kind of like... 
a way to describe how to play, I guess, is like an ARPG. You know, you got your hero, and you're constantly getting gear for it. You're choosing what attacks you want to use. Like, right here is... Once, I haven't played in like a month or two, so I'm kind of blanking. I was still learning. Uh, like, this is how much it costs to use. But if you use it in your pitch to get resource, this is how much resource you get. Or swap what I just said around with these, I'm not sure. Uh, based off how my last video did for views, I'm gonna say... Um, no one's even gonna comment. Actually, I'll, I'll put these. So, these are generic actions. Ooh, I think this is one of the cold foils. Actually, I can compare. I have a rainbow ninja foil right over here. This could be a rainbow foil, too. I know this is a rainbow foil. So, the tongue together. Well, this is a wanderer, my bad. My apologies. Alright, so these look like. So, these are the rainbow ones. I got these from a special promotional kit for Crucible of War, one of the <laughs> set expansions. Excuse me. So I'm going to just say this is a rainbow foil. Oh, I'm getting all screwed up. Alright, so generic. Some ecologist. Yeah, I'll put all the generic stuff right there. Generic action. Oh, I, this is going so poorly. Okay. Alright, so these packs, I thought maybe each pack would have a theme. Oh. So this is a wizard hero young. So there's two heroes that you can get. You can get the ones. Um, I believe I, oh, I can actually show you guys right here because I have a hero previously right out so this right here their health so that's pretty much your health for the game that 40 uh what you can do is that you can get different heroes uh or younger versions of the hero and they'll have a smaller health they're for quicker games i think they're called blitz games not 100 percent sure but i'm just gonna kind of keep you know i'll just Maybe go pack by pack. I'll just have 24 stacks on my death table. It's fine. So, yeah. Um, I'm very excited for the game. I like that it seems to be getting a lot of popularity and traction. Oh, another Kano. Another Wizard Man. Oh, it's double sided. Rune Blade. Rune Blood Hero. I know I had this before. I didn't really look at these. I don't know. See, with the starter deck, I don't know if that's new or not. But that's fine. So, but I, I like the back of the card where it says Flesh and Blood. I, I love the back of the design of the cards. I don't know why. I think it's very important to the aesthetic of your game. Um, Because, I mean, obviously, that's you're, you're playing with... With cardboard so obviously you want everything to be visually appealing I, I i do think uh the art itself is very good on most of the cards i think you know a generic stuff like this um i don't think you're gonna get some crazy oh uh, well, maybe you what I, I like the way this looks i'm trying to see so i wonder if it this bleeds into the welcome to wrath Ooh, another foil. Very nice. I don't know if that, these booster boxes bleed into Welcome to Wrath. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I can't keep hitting my tripod. So I don't know if I can use any of these to bolster my starter decks. 
But the star, I definitely, if you can get your hands on some star decks, if you know the game interests you, or these cards where they're like, okay, okay. I'm not very explaining what the cards are, what they do. Because this is also kind of a chase. Now I don't know what slot there, what where the slot is in the pack. But there's these things called fabled rares. And that's kind of I guess something to chase because they're going for some of them go for some stupid money on eBay. I don't I'm not gonna sell these, obviously. Because they're first edition cards. I wish. Because I don't think it does. I'm gonna say this oh, oh this right here the uh, copyright stamp that's probably how you're gonna be able to tell these are first edition cards or not because well no they well no unlimited's not out yet so yeah 2019 would be it because in oh another foil i wish I, I can't tell what the cold foils look like i want to say they're this might be a cold foil because just the way it shines differently, I'm not, I'm not sure. Wizard action. I am so excited. Oh, Ranger hero. Oh, this is the full one. Okay, so then we can play a full game with this. Oh, and there's the young. So I think heroes both have, let me double check. Because I actually, I think I did check this. I'm not sure. I'm on. If I, just, I wish I, I should have brought, no, they don't all do that. So, all right, because I don't think my starter decks have the double side where you can have the a full game, like a full hero, and the young version with less health so you have a quicker game. Very neat, though. All right, so we just got this one uh, as a regular. So generic, generic, generic attack, generic attack. The mech guy. Another foil. I want to say these are. This one looks like a cold foil because this doesn't have the same shine <gasps> as those heroes I showed earlier. I love some of this artwork. As you can see, there's a lot of right. Uh, a lot of these card. A lot of cards have a lot of writing on them. I think it's that's not. Uh, see, deals three arcane damage. A wizard only. So I think one of the cool things about this is that you're pretty much just building your hero out. And it's kind of like a, like you build out your hero, you build your deck towards it. It's like a PV, I don't know, like a fantasy PVP from like an MMO or something, like a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about. I doubt it. These cards are like, these packs are like sealed tight. Sadly, I can't really see 0 to 60. I do like the... I like the way the foiling is, the rainbow foil, the way the foils are. Another 0 to 60. Some of these packs feel fat. What are they, 15? Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 on that. Oh, another wizard hero. So this one has 30. I'm pretty, I know in the Welcome to Wrath set, um, shit was, it was all 40, I'm pretty sure. I know there was Young Heroes, but in the starter decks, they were all, uh, all, all they all had 40 health. I think in this, this set particularly, uh, depending on the hero, uh, depends on how much health, it, its max health can be. Wizard action. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. You get one resource for it, but it costs two to cast. Ooh, that's another foil. I like how it's 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 very subtle. It's not super in your face. It's not like uh, Magic the Gathering where the whole card's foil, which I, I mean, I know I said in the last video, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of what's a uh foil cards with these ones i'm i'm starting i'm really really liking but another thing i want to see because i don't think they do i know the welcome to wrath doesn't all right so these don't tell you if they're 
commons, uncommons, rares, rares. Uh, I think the big thing in these in these boxes, and I think it's what's go, for going so much. Uh, why this and Welcome to Wrath? Why they're big money? Is the is the fabled rare cold foil? I'm pretty sure that some of those cards by themselves are going for astronomical amount of money. Like fourteen, I saw a few cards for fourteen hundred. Don't know what set they were in. I didn't do a whole lot of research on the foil. Like I have no idea. It's hard to get. I'm more in it for the game, not for its secondary market. I wish I knew what was what, though. Because I'd like to know if I'm hitting, like, the, ooh, the really rare cards or something like that. You know, just something to go off of, I guess. Oof. Uh, awkward silence. Don't like that. All right, life for us. Take cover. Another lead the charge. Another foil. Achilles accelerator. Over the loop. This guy looks fancy. He's got to be the steampunk class. Ranger action. Amplify arc knight. Zap. Deals two arcane damage to target hero. I wonder if you can. Uh, from what I've seen, I don't know. It's like pretty much what you do is that you put down attacks with your resource. And you set up the combat chain. So it's like a chain of events. So you just put down like, say, you cast your weapon. And then you cast an attack. and then Or you cast your hero's ability. But the defender can also like use, a de you know, use an attack to defense and like... Right here, so like it could be used. So this is three attack, but it's uh, two defense, so it can block two damage. And well, uh, I think some some arrow can only be used for defensive that way. But like when you play a card, you want to read the effect because the effects have like some. You can never attack. I think it's twice uh, it's really hard to explain it's it's not a game you kind of just pick up and play even though i'm sure there's people out there Ooh, another ether flame crucible of ether wave and another rune chain i've been getting a lot of these i've been seeing these in the packs a lot i'm sure someone will say yeah it's a very easy game to pick up and play i didn't think it was i think the game definitely demanded Oh, I won't say the man, but like, got to have patience with it. Really try to learn it. Ether spindle, art of war, another foil. Oh, I like the way that looks. It's definitely got a good art style. It's very consistent too. I also like that. That it's not poking out. I'm seeing a lot of duplicates. So I don't know how big this set was, but it's fine. I really just, I've been dying to open this and I'm like, hey, why don't I try to have a little fun with it and show everyone else what uh, the cards are and give a really terrible explanation of maybe how to play. I would, I would not, I'd have to sit down and be focused on show, tell, I didn't come into this ex wanting to explain but talking to myself is getting harder. So I'm just trying to, you know, make sure conversations up with my lip foil. Very nice. Robe of Rapture. Zipper Hill. Throttle. Oh, I like that. That looks neat. Honestly, I, I, I'm honestly just so excited to uh, build with these. Get the, See what I can make. Hopefully I have enough to wear. It's unique. I think the only hero I haven't... No, I've seen the Runeblade. 
All right, so I think I've seen, I see. Actually, I'm not sure if I've, we've gotten a Rune Blade Hero yet. I'd have to look. I think it's that purple dude. So we'll find out. And so basically, what uh, I know you so generics. So I think all the commons and bulk common uh, commons are all the generic stuff. Uncommons are class specific. Moonwish. I'm I'm just guessing. I want to say the back cards in the back of the pack. That's a uh, another amplifying arch knight. Another index. I don't get these. The the double sided. So it's like if you want, you can figure out what you want. I wish I knew what a super fable was and. No, so maybe when I got one, it'd be like a little bit more exciting. But I can't, I don't know the game that well. I just wanted to show up. I didn't pay the 500 something dollars for this. This was a box I had. I did pay probably more than what it, I think I paid $150 for this. Like this was all like a month or two ago. Like the, the way the prices have gone up is absolutely insane. the hell was that all right i just heard something squeaking in my apartment another foil over the loop ridge rider shot Ooh. Ugh. I, I don't think i've seen a rune blade hero yet unless that was the purple guy then yeah, I know I have at least two. Oh. Uh, what's it called? 24 packs come in the box. In case anyone was curious. Pretty standard-ish fare. Because like, how many packs come in? Some Vanguard. Bring some Vanguard into this. Uh, can I not read? 16 packs, so it's still it's more than that. Rifting. I think I might just bolt it. Bolt. Very nice. I might just kind of see what the foil slides. Because I think that's the way you get the cold foiled fable rares. Because I think they're only in the middle of the packs. Because I haven't. Seen... To be fair, I could be super unlucky too. I'll probably, uh, I'll definitely have the prices up for the foils at least when I, when I show them off in the, uh, zipper hit. When they show up in the, the video, I'll put the prices next to the car just to retroactively see what everything is. Rune fly. Death Dealer and another Rune Chant. I think we're getting close. Oh no, we still got we still got plenty of packs to go. Plenty of packs to go, boys and girls. Plenty of packs. Plenty of fun to be had. Very exciting stuff. Oh, if I get a super, if I get something super amazing in one of these. Where the car is just like, oh, I like the way that looks as a foil. It's very hard to tell on my camera anyway. No, there's a good shine to that. Look at that. Very nice. If I if I nail something soup ooh. I see the wizards definitely deal a lot of direct damage to the heroes. Is that squeaking again? Oh. I'm kind of... There's so many duplicates that I'm getting. Oh. That looks so cool. Oh, another Aether Sank foil? Okay.
All right, so he, this is the Rune Blade hero. Okay, so this, I was right. This is the young Rune. I think this is, I have to, I but could be wrong. I have been kind of going through these pretty fast. Ooh, he is, he is spicy. I, I am really loving that artwork. I, I can't even lie about that. Oh, if I get a foil of him. I bet that looks so cool. Ooh, a rip thing. Man, the rune, the rune blade just has such cool looking stuff. He is such an edge lord, though. He is definitely the edge lord class. His name's Dash. That's weird. Oh, we just got rifting. There is, I'm gonna, oop. Wait, this was something spicy. Oh no, shit's gonna fall. Sickum shot, all right. I can dig it. There's something squeaking in my apartment right now. I am gonna say that is a Mr. Mouse. It's getting real cold outside, so they're starting to find their way back in, which is eight kinds of annoying. Spellblade Assault. Oh, that looks cool, too. And it's another Rune Blade. I, I already know where I'm going to gravitate towards. Hamstring shot. Is that a cool foil? That might be a cool foil. I got it. Hold on. Does it say what rarity it is? I wish it did. This is annoying. I want to know what I'm getting. Mostly just for the sake of it. Sounding excited or getting excited. I mean, I am excited. Crack the bobble. Oh, I knocked this around too much. Okay. Yeah. Um, two more packs left. Ravenous Rabble. That's got to be the cold foil. That's beyond more subtle. See, I don't know because the starter decks didn't have any of that. Or mine didn't. I didn't have any anything special in my packs. I didn't have one thing special. I don't know if any of the, if the starter decks are different or not. No, second shot? Is it, I don't, oh, two second shots. Is that, all right, boys and, all right, last pack. Maybe it'll be good. I'm not gonna know if any of this was good until, I see what prices are at on eBay for the foils and get a good idea. Oh, take cover. I think it's a new card altogether. Ranger defense.
Rune Flash, and another wizard with a Nebula Blade. All right. So that was first edition Arcane Rising of Flesh and Blood. I definitely recommend. Do not spend the money on this currently. If you're interested in the game, wait for Unlimited. It comes out. At, I know Rat, Welcome to Wrath comes out at the end of the month. I'm sure Arcane Rising will soon to follow. But definitely wait for the prices to drop. You know what? Shits and giggles. We're going to end this super exciting flesh and blood video with Hyborian Gates pack. Oh, I opened it back. Packed backwards. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> what the hell is this game? The hell is this? Why are some of these upside down and some of them not? What the fuck is this? I don't even know how you're gonna play this. Okay. That's weird. <laughs>